Today, yeah. here of the kingdom. Of course, there's a story. We found two shrines, four Koroks, eight chests, and died four times. Right away, we start off with our lovely princess Zelda, giving us some of that sweet, sweet history lesson. This mural must be the great war reported in the royal histories. We're down in the cave, and we get to this walk with her, which discovery. I thought was really lovely. So we end up under the castle, and we see the spookiest man on the planet. Look at him. Nightmare. Okay. So, he ruins our hearts in, like, a look. With a look. He just destroys our master sword, takes all of our hearts, and... I knew she was gonna go, but I was really sad to see her. So we reach out for each other, but she disappears, which is probably a good thing. We wake up, we got a funky arm. It looks real cool, though. Not a fan of the nails. It glows, and a voice magically talks to us, just like in Breath of the Wild, and he's like, hey. After that, we find our first chest. Inside, we find archaic legwear, and you know what? It's better than nothing. We leave the cave, and we meet this little man. Oh my gosh, is he so cute? He's like a weird lizard. He's got funky eyes, and he says he has something for us from the princess, and he hands us our very own Nintendo Switch. Okay, fine, it's the Pura Pad, but still, it looks like a Switch, which I think is pretty funny. We get our first mission, it's to find Princess Zelda, and pretty much right away, I jump off a cliff and I die. So that's our first death. So we found our first chest, we had our first death. <laughs> if you saw that little tower in the last clip, that's the Tower of Time, or Time Tower, here we are now. Temple of Time, close enough. And that's where we're going to find the princess. Of course, it has a guard. He's not the strongest, so I take him out pretty quickly, and the door tells me, ah, hell no. So I'm looking at my arm, I'm like, why don't you work? And our that buddy Robert shows up, and he's like, hey, power. that door will only open for those with sufficient power. I did not intend to startle you. <laughs> and he's my favorite, I because, I mean, it's, it's just really funny. He says, that arm used to belong to me. I am Robert. I am Robert. And then it says, source of the right arm. What does that mean? I just, I think it's funny. Like, I, I don't have anything else. I'm just yes, the source I'm of the right sure arm. So then he tells us we gotta go get the shrines. So naturally, the closed door, we have to get in the door, that's our first mission, we hit up the shrines. We find shrine number one, it looks like a rock with like a dragon, and then like spikes into the floor. I don't know, I kinda like the design though, but I'm a sucker for green. We walk in and Raru appears, and he gives us our first magical ability, which is... Ultra Hand. So we can pick stuff up, and we can put it together, just like the tutorial, get it right away, which is really nice. So we go through the shrine, we have to lock and load everything in. It took me a long time to get used to the controls here, actually, but I really like Ultra Hand. I think it's a lot of fun. We're running, we're running. And we get to make our first one of these! So I was really excited about this, because I think... Like, look at it. I'm so excited. It's like a game. Like, you know, <laughs> like a little roller coaster? It's like roller coaster taken. It's like Dabba Zelda. So we get our little roller coaster going. And we head down to our people so we can officially finish the shrine. This time, the circle does not tell us no when we give it a high five. And our first shrine is officially completed. Afterwards, he teaches us how to use our magnifying glass, and we find a new shrine. And we head there, but on our way, I find these little man um, hoarding this cook pot. And you know, I like to cook, so I think they should maybe let me borrow it. Of course, that means I have to murder them, but they're robots. Like, they can just be built again, right? Do they have feelings? I don't know. With that, though, we find our second chest, and inside is a soldier reaper. I'm running around, I'm exploring. I think these big boxes that you get to move are really cool. And so I find this little temple thing and there's another chest inside. So that's chest number three. And inside we find Amber, which is always nice. While I was going, I also found this very suspicious rock that I was really excited. So pick it up and ah, it's my little man. It's my beautiful little man. It's a coral. I'm so excited. Okay. So I love Koroks, I think they're adorable, I like to leave them on their face, like I don't know. He gave us our poop, he gave us his poop, but that's okay. 
I so I'm right around the next shrine, and I see this little man, and it's another Korok, and he has a little heart face. So I love him too, and he also gives us his little Korok bean, and we're on our way. So that's Korok number two. We get to the next shrine, which is just right across the way from there, and when we come inside, our boy Raru sees us again, and he gives us another power. And this time, we get Fuse. Now, Fuse is really cool. That's the one where you get to, like, put weapons together. I had too many, so I had to throw mine. But then, we get to connect things with rocks. So, I'm just walking around with two boulders. Link is bit. So, we're running. I go to the right here, and they find all these little fire beams. And I'm like, hmm, that's interesting. So, I grab a couple, and there's a bow. I'm like, I understand the assignment. So we shoot the leaves, and BAM! Our next chest fall. Is that number four? It is officially number four, and inside there is a small key. So that's actually very important. We're still going to count him as a chest, because he looks like a chest. He's a chest. Of course, I want all of these little fire berries, because now I can use them to my arrows, which is super cool. And while I'm walking, I see this pillar and I think maybe I should knock it down and we find chest number five which was really exciting there was actually two in there and so it gives us five arrows and we love arrows and that's good afterwards there's a fight in the shrine and oh my gosh so I start off with fire of course I hurt myself but that's fine the he's on fire so I appreciate that got a whack him oh but he went his back so I'm probably gonna die I'm gonna run away to heal throw my weapon at him. I love throwing stuff at people. I really like, I was like, okay, I'm gonna pick up this rock, and I throw it to him. He says thank you. He just, he just picks up, he's like, thank you, and he keeps it. And I was like, oh, that's not how that's supposed to work. But like, I get it, but like, wow. It's never been like that before. <laughs> he said thank you for the rock. So, he's almost dead. We got him. Oh, that was a bad one. I look like I'm gonna die. I'm okay. I'm okay. I made it. I made it. So we're in the shrine. There's just like some more little fire beans. What are they called? Fire fruit? A cone beans? I don't know. And then we found some spiky boys to add to weapons. And we are officially done with our shrine number two. Just high five the green thing. We got our little golden boy, so eventually we could get some hearts or something. That's shrine number two. It was a good try. I liked it. I can't believe that man took my rock, though. So, once we come out of that shrine, our little friend comes and he's like, Hey, I actually forgot to give you something else. And I'm like, wow, how did you find me? That's not the point, though. So, he brings out this weird little thing and we put it on our belt. And he's like, this is how you can charge. It's an energy cell. This is how you can charge your Zonai. Is it Zonai? Zonai? Z Zonai? I don't know. Your devices to use these energy cells. So, now we can officially do that. And he says, um... I don't have any devices to show you, but you can go look with my friend, so I'm gonna go do that. While I'm heading over, I find these boys, and we're fighting. Ah! Okay, he got me, though. I got it back. One left. Yeah! It's over for these boys. And boom! We get another chest. So I think we're doing really good on the chest front in this one. That's chest number six. Inside is the opal, which is good once we can sell things. And then I get the opportunity to build because this little man needs to get to his friend and his backpack is too big. He's too tired. He doesn't want to lay on the floor all day. He's like, please help me. So I have to attach him to the machine, which I think is rather funny. I didn't try without attaching him. I really didn't want him to fly off. It, it might be hilarious, but I, I didn't try. So off we go to find this little man's friend. Once we get there, it wasn't very far. You just deliver him. Oop, I dropped him. He said oop. Alright, so we're taking him. We make it to his friend. He's so excited. He's like, wow, you're here. I don't even know if he could stand up. That back his friend's gotta like peel him out of that backpack. He said thank you, and I actually got two Koroks for that. So we're officially on number four. With that, I make it to the cave that the other man was telling us about. It's called Bonsai Cave. Attack some bats. He really caught me off guard here. And oh my gosh, look at this man. He blows bubbles. I love bubbles. He's so cute. He's some kind of weird little frog. And he doesn't hurt me. And like, his bubbles don't hurt either. So I wasn't going to kill him. Like, he's the homie. Inside, I found another chest. Officially number seven with the arcade tunic. So we're not naked anymore. 
that's great. We have a full set of clothing. We make it outside of the cave and we find the devices they were talking about. And I don't know if you guys watched that video from Nintendo, but this is kind of that area exactly. It's just like where you build your first little boat. But we don't want a basic boat. We gotta go for style. I don't want to make the same boat everyone else in the world makes, so I gotta add some rocks and some, um barrels, but when I'm turning the dang thing on, I break the barrel, which was a little bit embarrassing, and I tried to get the mushroom, but I'm like, wait, the boat's gonna leave me behind. I have to get back up. We're fine. We made it. We're really coasting along the edge here. Me and the fence. <laughs> fence riding, if you will. On the other side of that, I think I found another cave. I found the cave somewhere. But anyway, I get to make this guy. I'm so excited. I love roller coasters. We're going. We're going. Hit it. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Whee! Don't you look like roller coasters in games? I'm so distracted by all this stuff on the side. Oh my god, I jumped out. Wait, come back! Oh my goodness. Okay, so that was a little bit of a fail. We hit some rocks. But I found this little man in here, one of our lizard friends. And he's telling me about Zonite and how to, like, make stuff out of it. So, like, energy cells so we can do the... Gosh, I don't want to say the stuff with the stuff. But, like, the stuff with the stuff. We can turn on the machine. The Zonai devices, we can use those guys with this stuff, and that seems really important right now. I find this man, and he's like, hey, there used to be so much resources here, and I've been asking for help, but nobody comes, so I'm like, of course, I gotta help this man. So I take out my hammer, and I help him, and he's like, danger! And I'm like, no, we were friends! Okay, and then I go over here, and this guy thinks I'm trying to steal from him, but I'm just really like, what are these bubbles? And he's like, these are super rare, so of course I have to go get my old cart back and use the fans I originally had because I'm not going to waste my bubble fans. You don't waste your bubble fans if they're super rare. You get to go on another roller coaster adventure, this time through the sky. Who, how do we make this railway? Grab boots. I don't know. It's a beautiful railway and at the end of it we meet Raru. He's feeling very nostalgic. And there is a dispenser up here with this little man. And he's telling me about how we use the dispenser. I didn't actually use a dispenser in this gameplay because I didn't quite understand, but that's okay. We found it. We know what it is. And I get in another bath hole not far along. And this man here, oh my goodness. Oh, dang. Gotta run, gotta run, and waste it. Game over. That's death number two. I'm like, second time's the charm. We're gonna be okay. We're fighting this man again. Wasted a second time. He's really hard. So that's death number three. I'm like, third time's the charm. Gotta use a little strategy this time. We're not just gonna run straight in. Gotta hit him with some arrows. So we're running around, hitting him with the arrows. We got him. Ah, oh, and he kills me again. I can't believe it. Death number four. That's embarrassing. So we're here. I gotta get it this time. Like, it would just, it would be wrong not to. I would feel really bad. He's really trying to throw a barrel at me. He failed. I'm like, wow. Okay, so. Went around the side. We got our friend number one. Gone. Destroyed. Dead. Friend number two coming up that same hill. Taken out. There's just a big boy to worry about. I threw my weapon at him, but it ends up falling off the cliff, so that did actually nothing. I'm gonna hit him with strategic arrows. Went around the side. Give him a few bops. He almost killed me there, but I healed. Give him a few more bops, and he's a goner. I appreciate that. They were guarding this final chest number eight with an opal inside. And that's actually all I did today. It was two and a half hours of gameplay, two shrines, four Koroks, eight chests, and four deaths. Thank you so much for watching. Come find out what happens next time in Tears of the Kingdom.